Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Bastard Sermon. This is one of your hosts, Luke Young, Patrick Seda, Cody Hucker, Sean Moore, Carmen Belperio. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Fucking crazy. Blake, thanks for coming on, guys. Need the celebration out of the way. So, Carmen, what was the weirdest porn you've ever watched? Weirdest porn? Get right um, into it. Well, let's go with... Uh, Be honest. He's dumbfounded. He doesn't even know where to go. He was like, I don't... Just everything I click on is so obnoxiously <laughs> weird. I can't well, everything pinpoint I watch it down to weird. one thing. You kind of have to think about how obnoxious you want to get. Like, I don't want to get too weird that they judge me. Right. Yeah. Can't jump right to the hentai tentacle. <laughs> I'm going to somehow <laughs> circle around to it. I got you. Go ahead, I mean, Carmen. I think that would be anyone's logical train of thought. So the weirdest porn I've watched, I just... It's more like I get into it, I'm like, I wonder how weird it can get. It's not like I'm clicking on it to, you know, but um, I'd go with like... You're not clicking on it to masturbate? Yeah, not clicking on it to masturbate. You're there I for mean, the titles like, and the, the hashtags yeah. and comments? <laughs> Definitely the comment section. That's always the best. But uh, he's there for the story in the, the beginning. The porn site this <laughs> Yeah, you gotta have a good setup, otherwise I can't jerk off. Setup's always the most important part. What's your favorite role play? Role play, as in like what? what don't act like you don't know Mario. what we're talking about, Carmen. Come on, come on. Like Shrek's. Shrek's. I- no, let's drop that one. <laughs> Because no one wait, is wait. really looking up Shrek's right now. Do you, do you not know what Shrek's is, Carmen? Shreks? I, I, I don't think Two I do. Two Shreks have Shreks. Ba-doops. Coincidentally, he's Shrek's watching time. Shreks on the DL. I am. It's on my phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. What about your weirdest? Do you have anything that particularly pops out? Only because I sought it out to see if it existed. Midget clown porn. <laughs> oh, yeah. <That's laughs> well, you showed me this when we were like high school. It's so right. real, dude. It's the most ridiculous. Go ahead. You, that you sounds... explain it. Yeah, set us up. Like, give us an image in our head. How, how does that even happen? How does a, how does a midget clown I was just like, what's the weirdest happen? porn that probably exists? And probably watching the damn show. Up. I don't know. Was I featured? I was probably featured. No. No? Not in this one. Unfortunately. Was yeah. that a midget joke? Carmen's a little person. He's a little fella. Differently abled is what I'm only mentioning it because this is not a visual thing, and he made a a little person joke. I think one of the grossest things I've ever seen was called German milk fetish. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that, Patrick? (laughs) It's fucking disgusting, I'll tell you that. (laughs) So, German milk fetish is when a girl sits in a bathtub and she chugs a gallon of milk and then she gets throat robbed by a penis. Oh, Oh, yeah. And then she'll keep vomiting on the penis. (laughs) How far in did you make it to this video? I watched. I watched a lot of this. Um, <laughs> I thought this is one video, Pat. I, I'll explain. It, it, we, me and a bunch of friends uh, actually looked up the weirdest porn we could find, and this was one of the grossest ones we found. That sounds makes my so mouth scary. makes me mouth water because I want to vomit. But anyways, uh, she just keeps vomiting on the cock, and uh, <laughs> it's all white vomit. So vomiting on it's, the cack. Yeah, vomiting on the cack. You know. It's fucking disgusting. Good stuff. Yeah. There was also another weird one that we saw in that grouping of weird videos. It was this girl swimming in a pool. And this was fucking disgusting, dude. There was this girl in a pool and she was swimming. And she spreads her butt cheeks apart. And then it looks like she farts out a little like white fluid or <laughs> yellow fluid. And it's like a little snot, slimy thing floating in the water. And she turns around and eats it, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. eats it. Dude, I wanted to fucking puke, dude. That was Jesus. fucking nasty. Hey, some people were into that kind of shit. You right. Know? They, Don't they can be. only Executed get off if they on see the that specific spot. thing. If it's ever brought to light. Right. right. Have, have you ever heard of cake farts? No. I've heard Watch of it, but I don't mouth. know what it is. Hold on. I'll see if I can look it up on here. But, Please uh, don't. It, cake farts are... Well, I'll, I'll just explain it then. If anybody wants to look... I don't want to give my iPad a, you know, a virus... Or an STD. You know? Don't they not get viruses specifically? Look up whatever weird porn you want. I think you're fine. That's what they're made for. Yeah. Yeah. Antivirus. No. 4K porn. Anyways. Patrick. Cake <laughs> farts. Here, Cody, you look it up. Just go to... I'm a- not looking up cake <laughs> farts, Patrick. Don't pass this task off onto me. <laughs> All right. Fuck. So, <laughs> cake farts is like... I, I found a video that had Cody, this- quick. Go to meatspin.com. <laughs> it's just a dick. Just real quick. Real quick. You spin me right, right. Have you guys ever been to meatspin? I've yes. been to meatspin. All right, all right. That's fucking nasty, too. Moving back to cake So, farts. Uh, anyways, this girl, she baked a cake, like a, a little square chocolate cake, 
uh, lots of chocolate icing on it. And she still looks at the camera and she's like, you know what I like? Cake farts. And she walks naked into the kitchen and she looks like a trashy, you know, trailer park kind of girl, you know, wasn't pretty. And she uh, sits up on the counter and she sits her ass on the cake and she lifts her ass up with cake, chocolate cake all over her ass and then she forces herself to fart. Did she like shit herself? <laughs> like you see her asshole like fucking pop out. like. <laughs> and she just did that and she would moan in between each one. It was It's pretty fucking nasty, but it is hilarious. What a waste of cake, dude. God damn, how far into Reddit did you have to go to find this, Patrick? Look, this was way before Reddit. Dude, Fortran, it was probably on like the, one of the top ten entries true shit there's some weird shit dude you guys haven't seen some weird shit what was one of the darkest shits you guys have ever seen on the internet darkest shits yes you mean like one of the most fucked up things i've seen on the internet okay okay you're Uh, talking about like a snub film oh my god probably just shit if you have i've seen a couple i just saw a death video today it was fucking horrifying i wasn't ready for it at all so whenever I'm one of those assholes that whenever you get the the this video is covered on Facebook thing, I always press uncover. Draws like, interest. But I like it. I like squint my eyes and I prepare like, oh <laughs> Jesus, I'm gonna have to scroll past this one. And I uncover it and it's just this girl sitting by a hotel door and she was just like, this is why you don't fuck with broke ass motherfuckers, like, cause they go and fuck around on you. And she's like right by this hotel room door with this door key. And she was like, I just tried to use my shit up at Walgreens, got denied, found out that my man's up here at the whatever it was the comfort in or whatever the fuck Dude, this was on world star this was insanity and she was just like she she was like all right we're about to catch him and i don't know who's filming it but she like puts the the key into the door and opens the door and runs in as fast as possible and her husband's in like a hot tub in the fucking hotel with another dude she was like you cheat on me with a man and they've got a fucking like a radio sitting next to the hot tub she picks it up and throws it into the thing and the dude tries to jump out real quick Death immediately. Both of them. No fucking, fucking dead. way. And the camera just pauses on their dead, lifeless bodies for a second, turns off, and I was like, that got so much darker than I thought it. Like, I didn't think I was going to be I watching think I death saw that. today. They yeah, got I saw that. so real out of nowhere. It fucking sucked, man. I was like, oh no. Because I got that feeling of, oh, I just watched two people die. Like, I don't. I used to be able to watch that and not flinch. But now that shit just like I don't know, it just makes my stomach upset every time I see a death video. I dude, saw I one tried. the other day, dude. It was uh, this dude went to grab this like giant metal cylinder <coughs> thing that was rotating like crazy fast. But he went to grab this thing and it snatched his ass up and he was oh flopping. Oh, he was Jesus. he was getting his yeah. face smashed on the floor every time it spun around oh, and it was fuck. doing it so fucking fast. What asshole was filming this? <laughs> the security camera. Oh, oh! I thought you meant yeah. somebody was just like Facebook no, live at like the machine shop, dude. Factory. Yeah, dude. And oh, then yeah. by the end of the video, it was just like this red bone mass. It was, like a, it was like a string hanging off the end of this thing. Just dude, that's fucking. Around. You know Sick. what? What happens a lot of times is that people wear these fucking gloves while they're at like machine shops and factories, and the gloves get caught. And then you get sucked into there. It happened to my buddy Dan, and my dad used to work as a machinist. And his boss, Dave, had, like, three fingers missing. He just had the the middle and the the pinky and just little fucking chewed-up nubs. And it was like, God damn, what happened to him? And he was, like, he was using a lathe, which is similar to what you're talking about. It It rotates a part in the middle, and then you can, like... You can use it for wood or metal. Point is, he got his glove caught in there, and it fucking took three of his fingers off like that, and they're just gone. People fuck get fucked up all the time about it. When Dan I w- almost lost a finger from it. When I was working at Penn Station, that's a, no one died from this, but <coughs> when I was working at Penn Station, I remember some guy on the meat slicer sliced off the whole palm of his hand. Ooh, you just hear that zzz. Fingertips and all. Fingertips and whole palm of he the pan. He did himself him. a favor. He can't get copped by the boys. Not if he's using Facebook. Did y'all see the shit about Facebook? Yeah, I saw that earlier today. Yeah, they, what's going on with that? Hold, hold I on. mean, you I, knew they, they, you knew they yeah, were taking that. that. Hold so, on. We, let's go into Karma real quick, and then we'll go into the okay. Facebook thing. Fair enough. I, I actually enjoy snuff films. I'm a little weird, but... What? I enjoy him. I'm like, oh, okay. I know that is, that's, that's the porn he watches. <laughs> oh, I should have let it. See, this is why you can't just lead with the snuff form. The snuff porn. Do you masturbate it to it? Sometimes a little porn? bit. You know, it, it happens. It's but uh, no, like I was that a real the, response? No, not at all. Okay. Is Do you masturbate to death? Was. Hold on one second. Is I mean, this I, legit I, though? Do you really like snuff films, or are you just like? In a sense, yes. It, Do you? I've, I mean, Do you really masturbate to snuff films? I don't actually masturbate to snuff films. Okay. I get it. You masturbate to okay, snuff well, films. Let's Moving continue. on. <laughs> but I enjoy them. I, I don't know why. It's just something like, wow, that's fucking crazy. Like, to see how 
people end up dying essentially like the intensity uh, of life yeah but and unfortunately i'm the guy that you know as cody was saying the uh the uh pictures that say uncover every time i uncover them it's not a snuff film i'm like i'm super disappointed i'm like wow it's usually just that duck with his fucking head with the on fire. fire. Yep, exactly. That thing me I haven't off. even seen that. What is what? that? <laughs> what about the third degree Every burn time pictures? I click one of these, it's like Ugh. eight out of ten times I click one of those, it's a fucking duck with its head on fire. <laughs> is it graphic or is it just <laughs> somebody no, fucking with you? It's not graphic. <laughs> it's just somebody fu- oh, it's so like, you're it's like a it's meme. Not graphic. It's like a meme. It's like they know it gets covered up by Facebook. When Can I uh, verify yeah. something real quick? So it's it's a duck. It's just a duck with a, a living is, duck with its, super its casual, head on though. fire. It's just it's super <laughs> like casual. a little torch. It's not a big deal. I need to see this right now. <laughs> no, I've never seen this before. I is need this to a real see thing? this. No, today. the duck. The duck is fine. It's just like its head is on fire. Like it <laughs> looks. It's chill it's as fuck. A okay with that? No, it looks <laughs> full look of fire. That's why it's funny, dude. What, Cheek all how, melted shut and shit. How do I look this up? Duck oh. with duck head, with head on fire. With I'm yes. sure it'll pop up. I've never seen this either. How the fuck have I missed it? I spend like 80% of my time on the internet. I don't understand. Yeah, how would I miss this? Even when I'm doing other stuff, I'm still on the internet. <laughs> what so the while fuck? he's looking that... <laughs> did you find it? Yeah. He's got like a flaming mohawk. It's just sure everyone is it a... knows this meme and we're the only fucking three people that don't. Is that even a real duck though? I can it never It looks tell. like a fake duck. Yeah. I'm super let down right now. It's, it's probably That's how I fake. feel. Yeah, every time you guys disappointed me on this one yeah. i'm gonna be honest why would facebook flag it they have all these algorithms really and shit. Does because facebook it's vandalism. Flag it or do, does somebody get it covered on purpose like do they report themselves to get it covered how does it get covered in the first place know. can you I do that yourself facebook detects I, it i don't know facebook. they can they can detect when you have a copywritten song in your video and shit like that i think you it might think be they have some kind of program. reports i feel like we didn't touch on this hard enough though carmen what is the craziest shit that you've seen in one of these death videos like what? Like, was there anything to discuss you when you watch these, or you just? Oh yeah, pure? definitely. What's I mean, the one you masturbated the most to? <laughs> Dude, I want to get this answer, Patrick. Jesus please. Christ. Have you Tell guys us. ever been to blood shows? Do you know what blood shows is? No, nope. I can't say. Is that that? Blood. Is that that haunted house that's on Kings Island? No, it's it's an internet. It's a website. Okay. It might be taken blood down porn. now. I'm not sure. But um, it's just a bunch of snuff films. Like, you go on there and you watch people die. That's. That's all it is. Been the best gore before. That's a bad it's place on the internet. Similar, very similar. Um, these are all uh, sites I'm going to avoid. So thanks. So, what, the so what, uh, what's the craziest video you've seen then? Craziest or fucked up? The the grossest video I've ever seen. Like was... the most entertaining. I like the grossest. Like idea. Go with the that. most creative way someone was like the I'm most disturbing way. you see this guy he had a bunch of dominoes okay like and imagine rat trap of like but for suicide like that <laughs> so, all, very saw like you know have you seen something like i that? ain't seen nothing like that but damn we'll go with the grossest because i've seen an extremely gross video on blood shows it was uh there was this guy like in a bathtub like the what patrick was explaining earlier but german a, milk fetish Sort of like the milk fetish. Okay. <laughs> but he had a bag over his head with one hole in it so he could breathe. And um, there was another guy, like, standing above him completely naked. And he had diarrhea and he just shit all in the bathtub. And then they filled it up with water. And it was gross. <laughs> that's that, pretty fucking That's all nasty. I could say about it. It was gross. And Sue. I thought this was a death thing. for. I was like, how's he going to die in diarrhea? No, he didn't die. Then he drowned him. <laughs> he drowned him in diarrhea water? Waterboard him in yeah, diarrhea. Him die like that? My God. Damn, that's fucking could be nasty. Worse. All right, fair enough. It could be worse. He could be shitting in his mouth. We can move back to the Facebook thing now that we've touched on uh, diarrhea and hardcore pornography and all yeah, kinds of Yeah, so what's up with shit. Facebook? Let's delve into that real quick. Did you not see it? The I mean, NBC, I... NBC I, dropped this article that said that fucking Facebook admitted to recording everybody's phone calls. And I don't know if that just means Facebook calls or if it means that, like, if you have the app installed on your phone, it's straight up 
recording all your fucking phone calls to your drug dealer, every weird thing that you've ever said to your girlfriend while you're having phone sex. I have said some fucked things. All your fucking dick pics. Everything is just uploaded on a fucking NSA and Facebook server. I'm like, well, yeah, it tells you that it's going to do that, though. Like, it, when you read the terms and the agreements, so you don't read the terms and agreements even. Fuck it's like, no, Facebook, I don't, Cody. You were no, probably the listen, only person no, listen, know that does. They make it so <laughs> simple. Like, they, everybody was complaining about it on Facebook for fucking ever because you would download the app and it was like, Facebook wants access to your camera, front and back, the fucking phone, oh, I don't use text the messages. It, like, just lists the whole thing. And I was like, Jesus Christ, what am I? But I'm not going to not have a Facebook so because everyone's got to I got to have a Facebook. But now they're trying to get it, like, deleted and shit. There's, like, a whole delete Facebook hashtag that's been going around. Am I exempt from that because I don't use the app? I use it through my browser? I don't think... I don't, I don't know. Whatever you've got on your computer, for sure, they've probably got access to Oh, it. I don't ever use my computer. Well, whatever... When you use it on your phone, it's going to ask for permission to use certain things. If it asks permission to access your phone or your, your, I your camera... I say deny every single time to everything that asks me. You can't yeah. download the And app if I or... can't download a certain app because of that, I don't download it. Who gives a shit? Well, I... This is just confirmation of shit we talked about way yeah. back in high school. Like, we were talking about all this shit back when it was just conspiracy theories. Like, how, and now it's just confirmation. We were always talking about how, like, this is just a database for the FBI to everything store everything, we do. That, everything Every bad that you've ever stroke. done. That and explains then, all the advertisements that are, that are just conveniently there after you're it done listens to about audio. Like, what the too. fuck? Pat it and listens Rachel. to audio. When you Things click that, you can hear it really loud into the thing. What? But, um, yeah, yeah, dude. They, Pat and Rachel were talking about a while ago. They would say broccoli all the time. Wasn't that your guys' thing? <laughs> oh, yeah, we forgot about that. Because you were waiting to see if, like, Facebook or, like, texting each other broccoli or commenting on shit like that so you could get, like, <laughs> to see if it works and I, did you guys ever get an advertisement that was like broccoli related <laughs> to be honest i completely forgot about it so now that you've reminded me i'm gonna make sure i do that now I'm, you want to start texting each other broccoli <laughs> yeah. yeah let's start <laughs> That's doing that have a good night broccoli i literally <laughs> fucking broccoli. i went to go buy paint <laughs> off amazon the other day and as soon as i got done buying paint off amazon i got on facebook and all the ads were like bare home paint fucking like craft smart do you like, use everything. your card on it uh, I use my PayPal, I think. Oh, you're That's fucked. Why. You're so fucked, dude. Your PayPal's fucked. No, dude. Or no, you can't use that. PayPal on Amazon. I use my card. My your card. card's Still. fucked. That sucks, balls. You're part of the problem. Connected to your PayPal. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> but damn. Um, so should I delete my Facebook? Everybody's trying yes. to get it deleted, and um, I think it's too late. It is. It's way too late. At this point in my life, I've already probably done the worst shit that I'm gonna do anyway. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> and the way I think about it is, I, I what's don't. What's the worst thing I'll say on Facebook or that's what in I'm a thinking. phone call, like something awkward, or talking about uh, blood fart porn on the bastard sermon with <laughs> cake <us>. farts. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? What it's just freaks? gonna start recommending those websites to us on Facebook <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, God, you're interested I in cakes. Hope so. <laughs> That'd be fucking nasty. So, Carmen, what was the weirdest thing you've ever put in your mouth? The weirdest thing I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Where do you Where are you getting these questions, Pat? I come up with them, dude. <laughs> Why are they only directed at Carmen? We're just <laughs> trying to set up Carmen for the most ridiculous shit. I'm, but answer the question, Carmen. Yeah. Honestly. Come on, Carmen. I know you put some weird shit in your mouth. The weird. I, that Can I put question, my finger in your mouth right now? Yeah. Come on, let's do it. All right. Nobody can see this. Can somebody this break out the old happy? Snapchat? What is happening? Get closer to it. This is, this is a gross. Oh, oh my no. God, Patrick. Where have your fingers been recently? <laughs> That's a good question. Scratching <laughs> the dog's ass. Right, could you guys hear it? Yeah. No. Touching your, like, I thought I could. Sorry, Carmen. I didn't mean to. That's really rude of me to do to a guest. <laughs> that really happened. <laughs> Don't finger the guests anymore. Ask us permission. <laughs> We're so not trying he to did meet ask you up the podcast right now, fella. Carmen, I fucking love you. Just so you know. Love you, too. What's the weirdest thing? What well, I mean, it, what ha, what is was my finger the weirdest? Down? Patrick's finger is <laughs> definitely the weirdest thing it's ever been. <laughs> 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 that's, that's exactly what I was trying to do there. So I'm sorry. Well, anyways, Luke, what's the weirdest thing you've put in your mouth? Is it Patrick's finger? <laughs> no, because it's about to be. No, yeah, yeah. It sure isn't. <laughs> my finger was just, the weirdest thing's ever been in my mouth is a finger that was in Carmen's mouth, that was in Luke's mouth, that was in Sean's mouth. <laughs> Does female <laughs> genitalia count? It's fucking nasty. That looks uh, like an alien if you spread it apart. <laughs> the Joe Rogan joke looks like the predator's mouth when it's open. I think that's very true. It is true. If it had mandibles, it would be the predator's Wasn't mouth. Wasn't it based off of that, pretty much? 
You mean when God invented the vagina? <laughs> I was, was just like, thinking that. Like, what? You, what the fuck? The <laughs> what structure you, of the vagina. The engineers was created definitely by the predator. Liked it. Yeah, a movie that came out in 1986. That's there was no vaginas in their current form before Predator. Would you let Predator give you a blowjob? <laughs> is, is it a girl Predator? Because <laughs> it looks I like don't a want vagina. To be gay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, is are there are there girl predators? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Do they have like predator boobs? What if they're all like created in a lab? There are. There are. There are female predators. Do they have predator boobs and booty? Yep. They got that ass. Are they hot, dude? I don't <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> I don't fucking look. You guys at are it telling like me that. there's midget clown porn and diarrhea porn. There's hentai about it. Fucking predator porn. Patrick, pull have up we looked it up? Guarantee you haven't even tried. Porn. Wait, maybe don't type that in because that could be like some oh, weird, shit. <laughs> horrible yeah. rape shit. Like, let's oh, not no. type that in now. No. Let's be real specific. <gasps> Alien predator. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Porn. Banging predator in the ass. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a meme for sure. Kill me, do it. Do and then, it, and then it cuts to, to them laying in bed. Arnold Schwarzenegger gets dressed and walks out. Predator goes, "Where are you going? I'll be back." Mm -mm. No. no, damn it! That's all right. Some of these are swinging a miss. Damn it! It's okay, buddy. It's okay. That was we really funny. It. I tried. It was really okay. funny. We'll edit in a, a laugh track of an audience laughing. Yeah. You, we need that on the sound. We do need that. He probably has it. Just hasn't I, utilized unfortunately, it. Unfortunately, I God don't. Damn it. I do have tactical nuke, though. <laughs> tactical nuke incoming! That, you remember that game? That is safe. Call of Duty, of yeah, course. I'm yeah, I remember that game. So the other day at work, I saw the most visibly on meth person that I've ever seen in my entire life, including downtown Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. I worked this, at Walmart, dude. Okay, oh, maybe uh, you have a story for <laughs> Tell some fucking crazy Walmart stories yeah, that's after like, this. Hold on That's fucking second. great. That is a really good idea. Yeah, dude. The people at Walmart.com is a thing for a reason. But anyways, this my bartender runs up to me while I'm like, it's a slow point in the night. Dude, we're not making food anymore. Bartender walks up and he was like, Cody gotta come see this girl right now and i was like what, what do i gotta see her for and he was like just trust me cocaine's a hell of a drug and i was like okay and i walk over okay. to the bar he was like you can just like go ahead and like make eye contact with her she's not there like there's no fucking <laughs> there's no behind the wheel. yeah we i get over there and she's on the frogger the game and she's like on her knees and she's pressing all the buttons at once like just slapping the <laughs> out of all the buttons and i was like oh this is gonna be gold already and then she stands up she does a ballerina like twirl around and then she just starts like moving her arms up and down like she's flying and she made like a bird squawk noise. She was like, Squawk! and then she fucking oh, no. bolted out the back and just lit like three cigarettes at once. And she's dropping them on the ground. And I was like, that is the most methed out fucking person I've ever seen in my entire life. Was All she right. was she hot? What she was very not her? attractive. What happened to her? She was just gone into the meth she wind. She disappeared. <laughs> she disappeared to like meth a world. <laughs> like a plume did, of meth. Did she smoke. flash her vagina? <laughs> I mean, if she did, I would have equated it to the predator's mouth, but with a pipe in there. That's what She's I was in thinking. Urban meth. I wonder if it was based off the predator. <laughs> <laughs> Her meth addiction? Probably. Yeah. To be honest. It all, all right. started when she the was real young and watched the predator. What was the most like like fucked up person that you saw working at Walmart? I don't know, dude. There What's were so funny many. About I remember the, the first one the most. The, what was that? The Walmart you worked at was actually one of the most it, most pictured one that was on people of walmart.com really yeah so, our that one specifically oh, yeah. is, yeah, is shout online. out price hill walmart yeah shout Third out Woo. yeah i go there a lot well anyways the first one that you saw was what the first one was just like it was like one of my first days working there uh this lady was just walking through the electronics department sweatpants just brown all the way down the pant leg of these <laughs> oh, no. sweatpants, <laughs> and it was just falling out of the oh, flip-flop no. and like <gasps> what shit was Yes. <laughs> Old ass lady. Could you smell it but too? But she looked like drugged or something. Like, there was something going on. <laughs> no but shit. She was with somebody and they were both being like super cool about it. <laughs> like, there was no sense of urgency in their step or anything. Like, they oh, were, yeah, this they were chilling. They were shopping at Walmart. <laughs> Probably using all her crazy money that the government sends them. Right. Dude, there were some really nasty people that I, would, I will never forget that ever. Her in a bank. That uh, came into actually there was some really na a really nasty guy that came into the bank too, 
but uh, at Penn Station, there was these. It was these two really, really fat people. They looked like freaking uh, the blueberry uh, inflated girl Dude, from Willy Wonka. Wait, I God know those damn. people. I bet. I bet. I bet you know exactly what I'm talking about. But Dude, they they, they, they go it's everywhere. A, a girl with there. really short really hair. short hair and big lips, uh, and they got like real puffy faces. Yeah, she stinks. Yeah, orders like, way too much and food. And the fat guy is like kind of up, a little bit bald on, on top, but not all the way. Yeah, he's uh, a. I was got a about spot. to bring them up. That's hilarious. That's so. This fu- dude, he, I saw him every. <laughs> every that trash is notorious. This dude, <laughs> notorious. I've seen this guy at like most of the places I worked. Like when I worked at uh, I worked at Dollar General. He'd be in there all the time. I the one up in Delhi. When I worked at Fridays, yeah, he would oh, yeah. come in there all the time. This dude, one of the first times I saw him, this is what, like, caught my attention. This dude and his wife were both wearing formerly white tees. Are they married or are they uh, I don't know. brother they and sister? They might be brother or sister wives. I think they're something. brother and sister because they would always come in with an older woman who was totally normal. Yeah. I don't brother know. sister wives? I don't know. There's some weird shit. They bet they have sex. No, but they they were came into the store. Uh. They were wearing big ass t shirts for their big ass bodies, covered in fucking squished bed bugs. Yeah. Oh fucking my god. Nasty. Yes, all over them. Like they, 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 they like covered they just in pimples. Tore shirts for like months, but they had enough money to go out and like buy shit all the time. Right. Seriously, I'd they're see always at, out. I'd, I'd see them at all the places I worked, like working there. They they were covered they're in pimples Walmart at all times. Lot. They got really yeah. yellow teeth, like really buck teeth, and they're drooling. God, I'm gonna get so I, much I shit like for this. I feel like they're the kind of people <laughs> that like survive off of welfare, but like hate uh, like foreigners for taking their jobs. Now, I don't know about I that. Know. I, she does seem like she she, she seemed. Actually, like a big brat. I to just be know they're they're horrible <laughs> to look at. Yeah, and they stink. They would order. They're these. like uh, the twits. You remember that book? Is the that what twits? it's called? The twits. This is like a Roald Dahl book. I don't know. Oh, no. But uh, you're like you know this book. It's really shitty. No one would want to read it. Have it, you read no, it? It's you know this, in, like, you know this <laughs> book's for, like one of the ones that you were forced to read for yeah. your part of your curriculum. Yeah. True. So. They would always order two Philly cheesesteaks each, 12 inches, with triple extra meat, triple banana peppers, triple peppers. mayo. Peppers. Sorry. That you know what I mean? good. <laughs> triple mayo, tri- triple everything. It was not, and they always told us to like run it through like three times. Fucking mayonnaise. Give me the fucking mayonnaise and the fucking chicken. And, you know, they God damn, I'm going to put it all in my big ass gut. Oh, shit. Oh, it's good. Oh my god, do we fart. need to talk about him? King Ass Ripper? Do we need to talk about King we Ass do, Ripper? We do, but let, let me pull let that Pat up. go back to the, the mayonnaise fucking triple meat sandwich. Well, this guy, he fucking farts on his dog. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna pull it up. Talk about him a little bit, though. This is a dude boy. that I found out about through your mom's house podcast, and he is a fucking gem of the internet. So he sits around in whitey tighties in random places around what you can only imagine is his parents' house, because there's, like, a picture of fucking a family, and then you watch what this dude does, and there's, like, you're like, dude, you're not monetizing your fart videos. Like, there's no way. And he sits around in these crusty old whitey tighties <laughs> and eats, like, gluttonous amounts of food, and he's just like, I'm just a big, fat, fucking disgusting glutton. Goddamn, I'm gonna put this whole Here. jar of mayonnaise and fried chicken in my big-ass gut. And then he'll just, like, fart while he's eating it, and he's just like, yeah, that was a big one, bro. And then... <laughs> And then he fucking slaps his belly on the gluttonous beast. It's a fetish thing for sure. He's gotten so much bigger too. There's, so I I found the video. Not. He's still around. Doesn't he, what? Doesn't he say it's not? Not what? Not a fetish thing. Hey, who knows? Who oh, knows? No, no, no. I think Anyways, it's a fetish thing. He's still around. Know. Here's the video know. of him farting on his dog's face. Oh damn. <laughs> He's in like boxer shorts and his dog's on the bed. God damn. <laughs> this dude is an actual monster. Oh, Those are his real oh, farts, too. He's a one. threat to society. Uh, so hold, hold on. He's <laughs> for real. Like, he's not famous on YouTube for no oh, reason. Shit, he's just right? on the Here's brink one. of committing murder if he has my <laughs> way. No, he has, he has uh, You can power. tell from his videos, for sure. It seems like somebody would have to put a bike pump up your ass and pump it like 30,000 times to get that much air in there. Like, how the fuck is he... <laughs> you ever let you do that? He's, He's just, like, eating tubs of mayonnaise and yeah, shit. Yeah, it's true. Like, whole pizzas to himself. Dude, this like. guy holds his farts all day just to do this shit. Oh, I think he's doing shit. it on the spot. Why is he farting oh, on his dog? Boy. 
I think right, he's, do it first, again. he's freestyling. The <laughs> dog's moving. Dude, there's one video where he's got a stack of pancakes, and he's like, 27 goddamn big-ass pancakes, gonna get them all in this gut. Got a can of sausage gravy to wash them down, and he's using sausage gravy in a can as his beverage, and it's cold. I watched him, I watched, they pulled it up on Rogan's podcast, and Rogan was like, I hosted Fear Factor, I almost threw up watching that fucking video. <laughs> I never threw up, and I was like, this is brutal right now, like, it's hard to watch some of those oh fucking God. videos. They're disgusting. A fucking animal. Listen to that. God damn. So, Rachel and I saw something fucking nasty the other night. Um, probably one of the grossest things I've seen on actual television. Um, we were watching Hoarders, and it was this uh, old, really nice black guy and he lived with his brother in this beautiful house, but the place was one of the most disgusting places I've ever seen. The brother fucking died in the middle of the episode because it was, I guess, of how nasty what the house was. Mean? So they had their bathtub filled with just piss water because mm. their toilet didn't work. So what they did to shit is that they would put pa- paper, uh, newspaper over the top of the over already overfilled toilet. Um, and they would shit on the toilet on this uh, newspaper, wrap it up, put it in a bag, and you throw it in their neighbor's trash can. Can you just imagine <laughs> the smell of stagnant piss in a fucking, like, just a whole bathtub full of stagnant, rotting piss? You just open the door to the house and just, that, the ammonia hits you in the face. Like, uh, how? Hold that's on. the only way they the can get off. The brother died in the in middle it. of the episode? He died in the middle of the episode. But let me, do tell. Okay, Give so me the let me tell you about the gross part. So they had to clean oh, out the... Gotten to it? Yeah, they had to clean out the toilet. And when they cleaned it out, I couldn't even watch, dude. It was so fucking nasty. It's making Rachel cringe right now. They used this vacuum to was suck this on out... Borders? Yeah, they used a the vacuum to suck out everything in the toilet. It was just full... Like, it looked like thick mud of just shit. And then... <laughs> so, it was just, like, thick mud. <laughs> it was thick mud. <laughs> it, looked, it, was, it was thick mud. It looked like it was just a giant Reese's. Because it was, was so thick. much shit. Oh, so God. much shit, dude. It was... No. It made me want to puke. It was gross. I'm gonna vomit right now. Yeah. They had a, they, they almost had to condemn the house. They should they, have. So in order for hold him, on, what was their excuse in the first place for having it to allow it to get that bad? They just wanted to conserve. My dog's sick and I'm real stressed out piss. at work. If the doctor it's says it's bad fun. enough, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Dude That's dies a typical in the middle con. of the episode. Like, well, when I think you we can have no our... longer shower because there's piss in your tub. Yeah, I it's was gone wondering. Too that far. is the shower. We never figured that out. I never even thought about it. Like, how do they bathe? Because Golden when they showers, brush their teeth, dog. they just spit the water into the tub full of piss. <gasps> yeah, it was fucking nasty, dude. <sighs> what's the so gross? It was minty. Yeah, Carmen. What yeah. is? Who's the nastiest? Or not? Who? What's just the nastiest the house you've ever been in? Okay, so my mom is an organizer. So I've actually been in some hoarders' houses. It, Do tell. It's terrible, but um, nothing that serious. I, I don't think I've ever seen somebody die while I'm in their house. But, yeah, that was fucked, dude. Yeah, th- you still haven't told us how he died. I, I, don't, I don't think anyone really knows how he died, but he looked... <laughs> we were talking in the middle of the episode because he was just laying down the whole time. <laughs> I was like, I, kept, I said, I thought, like, think, that dude looks like a corpse, dude. And she's like, yeah, something's fucking wrong with him. He won't get out of bed. He's been laying down, and he looks yeah, pale right. as fuck. But he would, like, talk in the interview and stuff. And then they, as the night that they were going to start, the day they were going to start cleaning up all the hoarding, they said, well, we got her, we had some traumatic news this morning. His brother died. And they've been together, they lived together for 50 years. They were inseparable, so it was heartbreaking. The guys seemed like they were really nice guys. Heartbreaking but damn. they had that shit coming. Every single they person who walked that through to the themselves. house. I'm sorry. Yeah. It, they were had so much they were drinking a lot of forties. So they had so many forty bottles in there that the house like wood on the outside was breaking out and the bottles were falling out of the house. Jesus Christ. It was fucked up. They killed themselves. Yeah. That's it was horrible. But he's, he still has the house. No sympathy. 110%. I have no sympathy for those fucking Idiocy. morons. Idiocy. Sorry, yeah. it's sad, Wild. but whatever. Foul monsters. Wild. And some of these people, I don't know if I said in the last podcast or not, I'm sure I did, but I'm going to say it real quick. These people that go and visit these hoarders, like the hoarders, sometimes they have episodes where they spend the night and eat food with <laughs> nope. them. Yeah, no fucking no, no. way. What about that lady who was conserving all her fucking shit and urine and like Gatorade bottles? They spent the night over there, didn't they? 
No, oh my sir. God. Not I'd me. fucking bust out a tent in the backyard. You'd be better off sleeping on the grass. There. Well, there was this. That's there was, where the heroin needles I sleep are. In yeah, that's where they just <laughs> <jump> fall <laughs> heroin needles. You can't behind. lay a tent there. The last <laughs> episode we watched was this woman who had a whole mansion to herself. I'm not kidding, a mansion. It was millions and millions of dollars, and she had so much stuff. She was living in her van, <coughs> which was filled with stuff and two dogs. The entire <laughs> the, van. the entirety of the mansion was filled and with the cat. shit. She left homeless we too. St. Bernard's. Some of the people that were on the hoarder show, like the therapist, one of them quit over this woman. They did a two hour special on her. Usually it's an hour long episode and they have two people. She was the only one for two hours. My lord. Sean, you don't have to mention who, but you lived in a hoarder house once. Do you want to tell some fucking horror stories from the real hoarder house that you lived no, in? No, I saw worse than that one. That one's barely worth talking about. Well, let's hear it. 13, 19 million one. people in the, in the United States are affected by hoarding. So I used to knew this guy. He, uh... Well, I, I called him Fuckleg because he, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he was riding a scooter when he was real young, and he got hit by a semi trying to cross uh, Glenway. But uh, <laughs> his leg was all fucked up, so we called him Fuck Leg. But fuck anyways, leg. Uh, the first time I went to his house, <laughs> Good old fuck I leg. walked through the door, and you had to like force it open. I was just thinking, like, like what's something behind it? Look behind it, and there's pizza boxes everywhere, like all the way up to the fucking ceiling. There's garbage everywhere. There's like, and you can hear animals, but you don't know where they're at. Oh my god! No. But uh, like you, it was right under the. It was literally waist deep. Like I had to like scuffle through that shit. And he's like, "You want to play video games upstairs?" I was like, "All right, this is like <laughs> all right." This gonna is when trap like you. one of the first Grand Theft Auto games was like real popular. So we went upstairs to play that. And, Vice uh, City. Was he's it like, Vice here, City? have a seat, and like scooted a pile of garbage into like a mountain of garbage, so I could like kind of <laughs> beanbag chair it. <laughs> put, but, uh, put a blanket into a over it. Chair for you. Real I was. Quick. It was. I was like eleven. I was like, what the hell? Like I've never seen some shit like this. And what? I saw, that's also where I saw the. <laughs> that's also like the first time I saw porn. I was like. I was that like kind of just house? I was just kind of rummaging through his garbage you and I found like uh, there was just like a por- there was Got just like good in here? it was just a magazine literally just women pissing on each other <laughs> that, was that's, your first that was the experience? first time I saw like any of that shit and they're just <laughs> Mama, like what's this they're like peeing <laughs> into each other's mouths and shit who and is like, keeping an eye on you I don't know, okay. but I don't know. I don't You're know where it is. You're with this monster in his This guy bed? was younger than me, and I found it in his room. He, oh no! There was all kinds. Did you of tell shit. him? He told or did me. You take it one time. He told me. You run away. He was like, "I just lost my virginity," and I was like, "What? That's cool." And wait, I wait. Was like, cool. He was younger than me. He was younger than me, and I was in disbelief because he wasn't like. The looker or anything, and y'all called him fuck legs. So right, I mean, he doesn't, what? He doesn't have too many quality. like street cred. But uh, <laughs> how old know. were you? I was like eleven or something. And he was younger than you. Yeah. And he'd lost his virginity when he was what, like nine? Was yeah, dude, say. I just had <laughs> sex. Are you sure he was completely no. full of shit? No, he was. This is what I was getting to. Either he was or he wasn't. But I met the chick. He claimed it happened, and I, she was like so ugly. I kind of believed it. I was like, "Fugly." Whoa. She looked like Hagrid, but like <laughs> she's <laughs> probably Hagrid fine the now. Keeper. The beard was like more well kempt. It was it was trimmed, but uh, she was just real hideous. And uh, he said he banged her, and like I kind of believed him. But he was like saying, like, she was yeah, so ugly. I, he was like, yeah, I pulled it out, and there was like this green slime. And he's like, I got oh, it on the couch no. still. You want to see it? And that's Whoa, when I left. Oh, <laughs> it's like a cum couch. That's a cum couch, right. dude. I was like, oh, there's no, some green that's shit. That's a gone couch. Oh, God. But he wipe. thought that was normal, is what he was just saying. Just wipe the to chlamydia me. all over the couch right quick. Right. Ugh. And it was like, it wasn't until like a couple years later I thought about like how fucking, like, what the fuck? What's the uh? And we between- started calling him fuck dick. Yeah, we call him <laughs> fuck like fuck that's, dick. That's so foul. So speaking of foul, who is the grossest people you guys have ever met? Oh shit. Um, grossest. Probably just the fucking yeah, random. Don't you don't have to give the name, but like, give us an names. example of why they're too. so gross. I have to think about this for a second. Okay. So like I'm talking like the from my old Catholic school in Price Hill. I'm talking about like the Charlie Brown character, the dirt with the dirt cloud around him. 
You know, he's walking around with dirt cloud. I've Who's there was the this regular at Dollar General that would come in there, and she was an obviously like homeless person. So I don't know how she would always be able to shop for. She would be. She would only get cat food, and I thought that she was like taking care of cats living by the dumpster or something. Way more mentally ill than that. So she fucking one day comes in with her shopping cart, and she's like, "I brought my babies." I was like, "You can't have cats in here." And then I look over at her cart, and she's got stuffed like fucked up, stained up animals, and she would always wear these ripped up like holes in the sides of her pajama bottoms and her hair was so like it was just thick and matted and it had turned into dreads but she wasn't trying like she wasn't trying to make dreads her hair was just so nasty and unkempt and shit that like it had just formed dreads and one time i was helping her out and she turned around and i looked at the back of her matted hair and there was just like a fucking there was just white shit crawling through her hair and i was like oh no like you have like visible lice (laughs) and she would smell horrible the whole time that she was in there and talk to herself about crazy shit she's just like yeah and i was at the bank and and the guy was like i'm going to mars tomorrow and i don't know and i'm gonna and there's like bugs crawling through her fucking hair and her eyes and shit like a horror movie and i was like there was this woman if i ever had, had an encounter with a person like that in my life, I would know I need to change my circumstances immediately. When I worked <laughs> at the uh, when I worked at the bank, there was this woman that I had to help train, and I remember I was helping her do something. I, she has red hair, red curly hair. What are you trying and it was to say? In a pair, and I'm not saying anything. Okay. I'm just telling, giving you a visual. All right. So she had red curly hair, and it was uh, tied up in a ponytail. And then I saw something moving in her hair, and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" It looked like a fucking maggot crawling, like a worm in her hair. And I was like, what is that? And then so I point out, go remember to my other trainers. And I said, dude, I think there's some fucking shit in her hair. And he comes over and he's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know. It looked like a fucking like two inch long worm, dude. Like an How inch worm hanging around in her hair. That would have been so dope if you actually did have proof that there's a worm in her hair. Like it just flopped out or something. Like I would have to then You should have picked it like, out. Like you have every it. right at that point to like <laughs> vocally point out how disgusting she is i think if that happens right if a worm actually falls i think out you're of allowed skull. to call people out on their grossness if worms fall out of their face yeah probably uh, yeah okay i <laughs> hope so what would you, how would you react zombie. if how fucked up is it that dogs get worms that come out of their assholes how would you feel if you had worms coming out of your asshole you just woke up with worms it does it happens yeah, to people real. That's real shit. Do you know via experience? No, I have not experienced Have you ever heard about girls getting pinworms in their vagina? Because... Uh, what's that? So there's these little pinworms that live it's in shit. It's this thing that looks like the predator. <laughs> <laughs> Was it based on the predator? <laughs> Was it? So yeah, I, I don't remember how the transfer happens. I think it's like if you wipe the wrong way or whatever the fuck. And, uh... Let me hit that off you. But, um... Uh, like wipe the wrong way or something like I guess little kids get it and shit like that and these pinworms that live in shit will like burrow inside of their vagina and then they have to go to the doctor with like and get like deworming medication for their vagina like some spray and shit like Ick. yeah <coughs> sorry um, let's change subject to get something not so gross so I don't know if I brought it up in the last podcast but I'm gonna bring it up here um <laughs> Do you think that Netflix movies, like that shitty movie Bright, uh, you, deserve uh, like Oscars, or do they deserve Emmys? Because Oscars usually are for movies that go in theater, where Emmys is more television-based, uh, and that's a television service. Yes. What do you think? They have movies and TV shows, so whatever's sh- applicable. I think 110% should, because, uh, I don't know if you know this, but the views that they've been getting yearly now have been dropping drastically because of the bullshit winners that are getting awards that they absolutely don't deserve compared to films that are clearly better in yeah. every single way. You know what I think there's I think there's also some type of weird conspiracy with the critics since the critics don't get early access to Netflix movies. I think they're purposely trying to fuck over Netflix movies. Yeah. I know you don't like Bright, but I'm sure there's other movies on Netflix that are Netflix originals. Oh, like that, Ravenous is the, really the good. Outsider, if you type it in The Outsider, if you type that, that outsider, shit hundred and ten percent if you look it up I was on looking for Google that. right now, it'll be like Rotten Tomatoes will say like twenty five percent for the critics score and you click on it like how the fuck is that possible the outsider was a kick-ass movie yep and then like you click on it and the audience review is like 80 percent or so i might have that a little bit fucked up but it's something like that for everything bright's like that the outsider is like that i just went on like a whole like trying to find like netflix movies and it seems like the critics are just getting they're like bland seen it better been been and i'm like these aren't even fucking like solid reviews Can i'm you- sure like all the other reviews are fucking weird with that but I'm, I'm sure they were telling the truth with bright that movie's fucking horrible dude no it's you're a bad not. person so, Pat. but <laughs> also no taste to, movies to finish food. that conveniency <laughs> also beats out going to the go theaters. eat at fridays and watch i don't know what you watch i, don't have a fr- I haven't been on fridays in SpongeBob. every year dude 
SpongeBob's dope, but I haven't watched it in like years. But um, yeah, I just thought that was an interesting thing we can talk don't about. You watched it this morning. So, what video games are dropping soon? I've been playing Sea of Thieves, bro. What is that yeah, about? Is that what you so keep snapchatting me? Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Tell me about that. Well, it's a pirate simulator, it. dude. I mean, Rachel thinks it's boring as hell to watch. Is it like Assassin's Creed? No, Black it's Flag? not. It's not at all. Well, no, I mean, the it, ship battles though. It's first. It's first no. person um, pirate game. You run a ship with up to one to four people, and then uh, you just sail around. You dig up treasures. You go to islands, and then they give you maps that give you riddles instead of like. And sometimes I'll have like X's on them, but sometimes I'll have riddles, and be yeah. like, find the impaled man, and it's like a skeleton that's like stabbed with a sword, mm-hmm. and then you dig around that, and you dig up all these treasure chests. And then you can just bring it to your ship. You collect it. There's not a lot you so can it's do. Minecraft. Yeah, it's it's, it's got like it's it's got the same principles as Minecraft, Ark, Rust. Oh, like it, it's just it, you get a blank character, you oh. start here, and then you just go. Well, there's a difference between talk around your mic, Sean. There's a difference between those survival games and like RPGs. I'm more into like those. It's RPGs. not a survival game. It's it's a role play. It's pretty fun. I think you'd have fun with it. I have good times with it. How does the water look? Does it look? It water look is incredible. The water looks incredible. It's probably the best part That's about good. the game. Because yeah. if you're gonna play a game about being on the like open seas, the water better look like fucking real life water. It, it, it uh, That's no joke, dude. The it's water is incredible. I saw a great title uh, on an article that said uh, "Sea of Thieves is a closet early access game," which is very true. Playing it, what could like, that? What tell. do you mean by that? That's like, a good there's question. a lot of yep. things that you can tell should definitely be added. Like uh, it's it's very simple and basic with the menu and uh, the you know uh, the in game menus and customizations and all that stuff. Like lots of things are going to be added already announced, and many things should. Be I'll added. I'll delve into that real quick because uh, that's very true. There's only about like four to five hours worth of actual gameplay in there. But they really, it's kind of like, I wouldn't say like No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky didn't have a very solid release with all the hype it had they for it. They just straight lied. No Man's yeah, Sky is not That guy lie. lied to everyone's face and then disappeared off the face of the earth with everyone's money. I'm just talking about lack of content, content not about lying. Because they, they, well, they do have everything both. in Sea of Thieves that they were talking about. But they're going to add a lot more throughout time. If yeah. it's something that's supposed to be like just improved upon, release the basic function and then get... Pets in. are coming. Is this a yeah. free-to-play or is it how much does it cost if not? Yeah, it's a regular price game. Oh, so it's a full like $60 game? Yeah, I think it's worth it. I have a good time. It's a great way to unwind and play it and just chill. <laughs> I didn't pay it. My, my game-sharing buddy did. Me too. I didn't pay for it either. My friend, yeah. True shit. Yeah. Game-sharing said hook. I've also too. been uh, playing Uncharted. I uh I beat the first one and just I beat I just beat the second one and I'm on the third one right now. Third one's yeah, great. And just got the fourth. The fourth I have the fourth too. I never played anyone, but I watched best, Sean play sure. the fourth one and it looked incredible. Did you have the PS4 Pro then? No, that okay. wasn't even the PS4 Pro. <coughs> Sorry guys, my this dog's thing trying. This like <laughs> not a moving. PC game. You yeah. can keep talking about it. I'm just trying to get the yeah. dog up here. Yeah, so sorry. It like, wrap around all the cords and destroy the podcast. That's cool. You want to take a break loop? for right now? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we're at that break point. Let's do it. All right. B-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-
So I cleared out my parents' basement along with my drummer, Hunter. Uh, we went and cleared out the basement, moved couches, moved a 60-inch TV that weighed thousands of pounds. It was giant, uh, probably from the 60s. Was it a projector TV? No, it was like a box TV. Like It had oh, the God. giant box in the back. and Those things weigh so weighed fucking much. Yeah, 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 it was ridiculous. Like those fucking things up. Me standing next to it looks like me standing next to a seven foot tall person i'm i'm five foot tall you know, <laughs> literally five foot tall so it looked pretty hilarious um so yeah we moved everything out of the, my parents basement they were fine with it and we had even agreed to doing that the day prior to practice so i was like all right cool you know i'll get everything moved and then we'll practice tomorrow so once i got done i was like all right practice meet us at my parents house at two and my previous vocalist immediately, like in the band chat, immediately was just like, no fucking way, I'm driving there. You're fucking hilarious. And I was like, bro, listen, we just moved all this shit, and you wanted a new practice spot. You should probably come practice How here. far away was he? Like, what kind of he, drive? It, it wasn't even that long of a drive. It's like maybe seven minutes. Luke commutes 45 minutes every week to do this podcast. So there what the go. fuck? He didn't want to drive seven minutes <laughs> Seven the minutes street? down the road, like... And then, um, so we're like, all right, whatever, fuck you. Became an argument, like everything else in that band. Um, so we ended up, he's, he ended up saying, yeah, you guys better fucking come here or you guys aren't in the band. I was like, uh, okay, well, I'm coming to get my shit and, um, guess I'm not in the band. So I went over there, grabbed my shit and he was like, I'm serious. If you don't practice here, if you leave right now, you're out of the band. So that's how I got kicked out of the band, along with my Fuck drummer. That, dude. Let me publicly say, I don't, I've never met you, but you sound like a real fucking prick, whoever you are, no names. What a fucking like douchebag. Frig you, buddy. It's a real dick move. I mean, I haven't heard his side, granted, and I don't... I don't know, but if it happened exactly like how you told me, fuck that guy. He sounds like a dick. He's a nun at a local orphanage. <laughs> he does charity <laughs> work. <laughs> works for the Red Cross. He serves soup to the Volunteers homeless. at the burn victim place in the fucking children's Crucified. hospital. Yeah, he could be a really nice guy. You just sound like a dick now, Cody. I don't care. It's all right. <laughs> I, I don't care. I, he drops he's not a nice guy. plastic bags at Aldi's. He's not a nice guy. No, he he's not a nice guy. I have no Recyclable interest in being a nice bags. guy. Right. He probably jacks off the dead bodies all oh the time. My Lord. Here, Carmen, I'll take all the fall. I totally jerk off to snuff porn. You can write that on my biography when <laughs> you write it. I've seen him I'll put it on your stuff. fucking tombstone, dude. I don't give a fuck. So, uh, continue. So, yeah, I mean, along with... Not only did I get kicked out, my bassist got kicked out, and my drummer got kicked out. And this... For the same reason? For the same reason. This all happened <laughs> for the same reason, and we had a show... Uh, next, the next week, the following week, and I was like, "Well, wow, good luck playing a show with no bassist, no drummer, and no guitarist." Right. <laughs> well, so they, good, they, Dick. They, did you guys form a whole new band around and then just get a new vocalist right away? They did have a uh, another guitarist. They had one guitarist oh, and I two vocalists. Said, I thought you, I thought you said you pulled the fucking "Who's Coming with Me" man like move, and then everyone came with you. Well, no, that see, that's the thing. I didn't even like ask people to come with me. It was like, okay, well, I guess we're all kicked out because he kicked. They were all wanting to practice on my parents. Mm-hmm. So they got kicked out along with me. And um, he was just, he had two vocalists and a guitarist. And I was like, wow, good luck playing that show. They could, like, play shockingly, on the street. Shockingly, they actually got with members together to, to play that show, didn't they? They they got a fill-in drummer who went on tour with us. When, that, was, uh, that was a disaster. But, yeah, yeah they've got Why a fill-in drummer. Why was it a disaster? Drummer. He just... Can you give us that story yeah, okay, next? Okay, so the drummer is essentially the most important part of the band because it keeps time and everything like that. He was not on time at all. Oh, so everybody was off time. The whole thing. Every show, Bad we were all feeling. off time. I hear you. We it had a similar bad. situation. Uh, a drummer that didn't know how to play it, so we got... Everything just sounded like shit. You told me that you're, like, whatever scene that you were in in the local scene when you were playing music, you said that you, your band was, like, notorious for having a bad drummer and, like, you had in to the, find a new one. In like, the, in the beginning, not Yeah, the, the very time. beginning, we had a we had a drummer who never played with double bass. He only used one singular bass, and he just wasn't very good. Yeah, he was very <laughs> off time. He's a pop-punk drummer for metal But bands. you just needed a drummer, so you're like, I'll take whatever the fuck I can get. Yeah, we replaced him quickly, and uh, it was good from there. But go on. No, you're fine. So Sorry. where where was I? Where was I? You get drummer. The drummer, yeah, snuff the fill-in drummer, the snuff porn. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, drummer. <laughs> um, the drummer 
it was just off time as we were on tour and everything. So everybody was off time, and, like, all these people, there wasn't many people for this tour, like, at the shows. There wasn't many people, maybe five or six people every show. But they all gave us that same look, like, what the fuck are you guys doing? And it was it was a disaster. What was the craziest shit that's happened to you while you were touring on the road? Or have you only done it, like, a couple times? I've only toured once, but it was a month-long tour. Oh, Jesus so I Christ. Was, yeah, it was it was a long tour. That's really rough, dude, to yeah, be honest. It was it wasn't fun. We lived off of baloney. Let's hear let's hear uh, a bunch of stories from that tour. Let's hear how how, how, how you were living, like w- the shittiest places you had to go to, where you, what your route was. Just hit the whole thing, man. dude. Baloney how much sucks. McDonald's Why did you bologna? eat? Baloney, it was cheap, man. Baloney and cheaper? you got to eat cheap on the road, bro. Did y'all well, live in the what same about van? Salami or Salami's pepperoni good. slices in bulk. That's a good question. Usually it's just rallies, McDonald's, Wendy's, and then uh, whatever you lunch meat you feel like packing. Yeah. I yeah. wish we had a Hardee's around here. A Hardee's? Yeah. You can only find Hardee's on uh, exit ramps at right. highways. At in highways. Indiana, I think, yeah, is like the only place. I don't place. think they're in Ohio. Is it like a Jack in the Box? They're <laughs> like, they got really good burgers. All right. They're big. That sounds good. Five guys sounds good. A burger. Ten stations. I think we're good. all really fucking hungry right now. We're yeah. gonna devolve into just talking about Let's what food sounds. Okay. Dishes. Yeah. Go on, Carmen. Did you all live in the same van? We did. Yeah. Uh, that's that's another story. I so I sold my previous car and got a loan to get this 15 passenger van, which we took out the majority of the seats and put um, like two bunks. So we placed bunks in there. We took wood cut it open or cut it in half and then put them on the sides and then we put up like little rails so people wouldn't fall off as we were taking turns yeah. um that sounds really fucking cool it's it, it's <laughs> cool you can customize your vans for uh, like a day until you gotta sleep there for yeah, a and month. then your back is completely fucked but yeah and it gets oh, hot dude, as I could fuck. Sleep oh god anywhere yeah. on anything we have a uh, moving I, van in our tour van we had a 15 passenger van and we turned the seats right behind the main front seats we turned to the side for a couch and then we put a two king size bunk beds on there with little bottle openers on the side <laughs> and then we just drew all over the place on it it if we had to sleep me and brad had to sleep in the bottom and god damn it gets fucking hot it in gets those so days. Hot. i was just about to ask did you, did you, you and brad you cuddle did we have air con- no we did not have air conditioning no you don't Second leave a car on all night you know yeah you can't you gotta leave the. You open the windows at most. That's what you can do, or you can leave a door open and hope you don't get raped and murdered in your van. That you have to park <laughs> next to a <laughs> fucking highway exit ramp in the middle of Fuxville nowhere. Walmart's become your best friend. Walmart is the greatest, and you got to get the spot under the light so the light's not shining in your eyes when you're sleeping. Yeah, we learned to do that. Also, Smart. like behind under a tree, if under possible, tree, because yeah. when you wake up, it gets. Hot. I remember one time we were, we were at a red rest stop and we spent the night there. And uh, we couldn't sleep till like three in the morning, so we were just drinking on the van and just trying to pass out. We woke up at like six thirty in the morning with like the temperature being like almost ninety five degrees oh, inside God. the car, My and we're God. sweating our ass off. We're almost gonna throw up because we're so hungover, <laughs> and we're like, let's just go. Yeah, it was miserable. But go on. So yeah, we would sleep at Walmart's, uh, brush our teeth dry because that was terrible. Um, it's all stuck in your mouth. There was one point when we were driving. I'm not exactly sure where we were, but every time somebody was driving, they had a driving buddy just so they didn't fall asleep as they were driving. That's smart. And uh, my my driving buddy was uh, Ryan. Won't mention last names, but um, he was driving. I was supposed to be awake. I definitely was not awake. And uh, he just, like, frantically is, like, shaking me, and I'm like, whoa, what what's happening, dude? And he's like... Uh, we're in a military base. I'm like, what the fuck? How, how are we in a military base? What did you do? What turn did you take, Ryan? He's like, I fell asleep for five minutes. We showed yeah. up here. <laughs> He's Safely. like, Safely. I just went straight. It's what the GPS told me. I'm like, we're in a fucking military base. That's not going straight. So we pull up and this guy, like, they have like these scanners and they're like going under our car and everything like that. And we're like, yeah, we're just trying to get to Walmart. And they're like, uh, you know you took a wrong turn, right? I'm like, yeah, we're we're not terrorists. Like, we're I promise <laughs> you, you we're not terrorists. <laughs> you shouldn't have even said that. No. That's like saying it, bomb on a plane. <laughs> it went a lot smoother than I thought it would, but 
They basically just scanned us and said, okay, turn around. And tase Go you. that way. <laughs> what was they, the smell like on that fucking van? Just f- four, four or five dudes just eating bologna, drinking beer, farting and fucking <laughs> B.O. 95 Sounds degrees. so disgusting. Sounds horrible, my dude. So I feel like the smell is so pungent that you can't really smell it. You just, like, you get feel used to it. it, you know? You feel the smell in your nose. <laughs> you come in it and the air you. is thick. Cuddle, you the smell it? cuddles you as you're trying to fall asleep. Well, picture this. We can't shower at all, and we're sweating our asses off in the middle of the summer playing these shows... That probably don't have very well uh, done air, the conditioning or air cycling through it at all. And uh, the only thing we can use to wash our hair is baby powder. Ugh. It's fucking nasty, dude. <laughs> dude. So you just had like chalky baby powder hair? Like I'll say this. Times of the day. Going on tour is not fun, but the memories it, of talking about how unfun it was is the fun part. It seems like that's like a lot of experiences. I hear people talk about this all the time. Like, I'll go suffer through a fucking miserable camping experience or something insane just to have that story later on. Yeah, absolutely. Not fun in the moment, but it's like that experience is really cool. It can really push you through all those shitty times because, no joke, like being in a band sometimes can really fucking suck. It's like running a business. And then when you're in there, it's the only fun part is actual playing the shows. Everything else is really hard just, work and stand in constant communication, but it's all on you. You don't have a boss. It's on you guys. So when you guys don't communicate and whatnot, and you guys can argue, and then it can be a whole thing. It's really easy for people to turn against each other. Extremely easy. And I, yeah. I think part of the problem is somebody thinks they need to be the boss. So they start getting this leadership mentality and start pushing around the other members. And Isn't it usually the vocalist? No, not usually. That's just a stereotype, I think. It can be anyone. Like in our band, it was usually our drummer. That would do the shit or our bassist. No offense, Brad. (laughs) 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 But uh, you know what I mean. They just anyone can just take take uh, control. It just really whoever feels like doing the most, whoever has the most like drive at that particular moment, I guess. Uh, Because there are people that we play music with, and they'll have say like, "Oh, I want to do this and this and this," and then when they play, it's uh, like they just. You know, they don't really do that much. They just kind of are really lazy about it. Like, we'll ask them like 10 times, like, hey, you're going to do this? Hey, you didn't give me any cash for this. We're supposed to pay this equally. You know, and just people get lazy and it happens. And the, the, every band or grouping of things have those kind of people, of course. Um, non committal motherfuckers. The people that say they want all the glory of being in a band and playing live on a show, but they don't want to put any work or effort into actually doing yeah, it. Yeah, and there's Complacency. absolutely people like that. Like, I remember one time I was shooting one of my music videos, and I remember one of my members, and I won't name who, um, but they were, as soon as we got on set, they just started bitching the whole time and just saying everything I was doing was wrong, and I was the only one taking control in this whole thing the whole time, and I was just saying, hey, look, this is how it's going to look good. I mean, and they just didn't understand, and they're just, like, making a miserable thing. They want to throw their instruments down and be like, you know what? I fucking, I'm fucking done. I'm done today. Fucking done. Fucking yeah, just chicken. people like that. It's fucking chicken. Fucking. Yeah, oh, here comes another one. <laughs> yeah, but um, just people can be very dramatic when it comes to the music. Absolutely. What are some times where things have been really tense and dramatic for you in the music scene? We had these things like we like to call band wars, the horrors of the band wars. I'm just kind of kidding when I say that. But, I mean, people always fought a lot back then, and things have seemed to have improved in the local scene. Yeah, the local scene has gotten a little bit better, but there's definitely still arguments between most of the people in the scene like what's some ridiculous shit you guys argue about it can be fucking ridiculous most of the time like some stupid shit talking or something like that yeah that the stupidest argument i've been involved in and this was partially my fault i will take credit for it Mm -hmm. um is me well me and my vocalist we we got into it a lot we didn't really agree on a lot of things but there was one point when i don't even know what we were talking about but it came to the point where we were arguing who drives more each day Oh, and wow. it was like, oh, fuck you, truth. I drive 25 miles to work. Oh, fuck you, I drive here. And it was it was just so Looking dumb. for a reason like, to bitch about something? Yeah, it was just, it was dumb. There was this guy I was playing music with when we were playing at this place called The Attic. And we he just got this van. And uh, because he owned the van, he thought he had control on who would drive the van. So when we were up at the show, we were playing on the second stage. I think we were playing with Memphis Mayfire at that particular time and Stick to Your Guns. I think God it's that damn. show right over there with I See Stars. Nice yeah. show. Yeah, it was a good time. That was a, they could always get a great turnout. 
Um, Look at that Memphis Mayfire so little underneath I see stars. Yeah, that was before they got really big. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude. Um, so we were playing that show, and when we were on our way home, uh, the guy, he said, the, the, the member, after he was talking shit about the sound guy on stage, as we were, we played a kick-ass set, dude, and he talked shit about the sound guy while we were on stage, just saying, oh, this fucking sound sucks, whoever's doing this is a fucking idiot, saying shit like that, and then as soon as we get in the car, he's like, I'm not fucking driving home, and we're like, well, we're not gonna drive, why would we drive, it's not our car, and he just refused to drive, so I decided to drive home. And then he decides to change his mind. And while we're driving, like, five, I got five minutes on the road on the highway. And he makes me pull over to the side of the road. So he was just like, wait, you're done. You're done driving. Yeah, you know what? I'm driving this shit. Like, he was just pissed off, being stubborn kind of shit. And I was like, whatever, dude. I just want to get the fuck home. He starts driving the tire fucking pops in the side. And he is so fucking mad, dude. And it was the person we were talking about earlier, just saying so you no. Know. it coming. Yeah, he fucking... Oh, man. It was miserable. And I, I had to like, call a friend to pick me up, but... That's some chaos magic right there. It was miserable. You ever have a member that you just... What, I know you've had that shitty member that you had, that kicked you out. Tell us some more stories about him. Okay, so there was this show where... We were, it was a house show, so it wasn't like a real show. It was just something for fun, somebody's birthday, whatever. Um... It was about a f- hour and a half drive for all of the members in my band, um, and we all drove out there. Uh, the, one of the members was driving, like, four or five people that wanted to come see us out there, and so he drives out there, drops them off, and he's like, all right, I'm leaving. I'm like, wait a minute, what? You're leaving? How are we going to play this show? And he had the backtracks and everything on his laptop. So we had nothing but our instruments and none of the music that we made. That fucking sucks. He was like, yeah, I'm going home. I just can't do it. I'm like... Did he ever give you a reason outside what the of, fuck, I just dude. can't do it? No, that was it. Well, and then, like... That's bullshit. You know, we're sitting there fuck stressing man, the whole man. time, like, how are we going to play this show? What are we going to do? And we ended up finding one of our fans, like, that was there. And we were like, hey, you want to fill in? Bro, you know how to sing these songs? <laughs> no way. Yeah, and it, he did. And he didn't do bad. He just we we had one of our CDs that had all the lyrics on them, um, and he he held that out. How did he see it in the fucking dark ass stage? Or oh, yeah, the it stage was, is lit up. I got you. Okay. Yeah, and he was just reading it as he was doing the vocals. He was reading the lyrics off of this paper, and I mean I have to give it to him. Hey, the best. You, you know, good he, for you for improving, dude. Yeah, he Who's tried. Dude? And Shout that dude out. Ian. His name was Ian. Good job, so. Ian. Killed it. Woo. Yeah. Ian. Yeah. Bad motherfucker. So yeah, he filled in and while we're playing the show, I get a call from our actual vocalist. And I'm like, dude, where the fuck are you? He's like, I'm in the woods. I'm like, what uh, the fuck? What, what are you doing? What are you doing in the woods? Like masturbating to dead bodies on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> in the woods. <laughs> I stole your phone. I went to the nature to get close to my it. weird porn. <laughs> <laughs> I like masturbating in the woods at night. Let's get out of here, buddy. <laughs> the dead girl that I just killed. Dude, that's... Okay, so what did he say? So he just told me he was in the woods, and that was the end of the conversation. Why what? Was what the he fuck? You didn't have more questions up? than that? You I, seem like... Well, I did. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And he just he just had no answers, and he hung up, and that was it. I was like, all right, cool. Have this fun is in the, the woods. Vocalist, the one, the same one that, like, fucking... Why didn't you guys drop him then? You let it keep I felt going. like it was, he didn't. He have you guys felt like he was like the owner of the whole group kind of thing. Like if it didn't have him, it'd be like oh, you just start a new band. Yeah, everybody in a quit sense, and yeah, a new band. that's what I would have done. And it was, it was. He had originally formed the band with gotcha. uh, one of the other members, and then I came on, and they needed two other members, so I found the two other members. So yeah, they originally formed the band, and uh, it was just kind of rough because him and the one other guy that formed the band had a real tight friendship and every time we brought it up we're like man he's something's gonna happen because this is not going anywhere and he'd always stick up for him and then it just went nowhere so we stuck with it and then it came to an end so right man, on fuck that so we want to get into our last bit of the se- uh segment of the podcast uh where we ask you guys some would you rather questions we like to call it man to man Dun, 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 dun. Come on, Luke. Know, where were you for yeah, that? Yeah, what the fuck? Let's try that again. God. We like to call it Man to Man. God damn it, Luke. Son of a bitch. 
and it gets really fucked up in here. <laughs> So I like to ask really fucked up Not questions, really. and it's basically you pick one or the other, and I can change them at any time. Um, so what I wanted to ask you, Sean, would yeah. you rather suck a dick with a mouthful of hot sauce or with a mouthful of saltine crackers? Wait, chewed saltine crackers or like yeah, whole course. unchewed of course. saltine crackers? Just had to make that distinction. You can. How hot is the hot what kind sauce? Of, though? Yeah, that's it's what, yeah. the it's ghost pepper. Oh, ghost pepper. It's, Do you but get you a, can you can um, wash it out with some cinnamon. <laughs> oh. Dry ass tablespoon of cinnamon. I'd say the crackers. The crackers. Yeah, probably the crackers. Yeah, but there's a turd in there too. You also have to sit in the bathtub <laughs> when you eat these crackers, and the guy's gonna throat rob you. You can, you can wash that down with a gallon of milk. <laughs> I like the guy doesn't use has the term to be a gallon job, though. Throat robbed. Every time. <laughs> Would you do German Would milk I fetish? What? <laughs> <laughs> Back to your question. Back it maniac. up. All right. Would you rather uh, suck someone's penis with a mouthful of saltine crackers, or would you rather do it with a mouthful of ghost pepper hot sauce? Crackers. <laughs> yeah. Who's okay. not picking crackers, Pat? Right. Okay. It would, Burning be, hot. it would be way more traumatic if your mouth was on fire the whole time. Right. Okay, but what if the dick's dry and the crackers make your mouth even drier? <laughs> well, you work harder for you that money no- shot so you can wash it all down with something. <laughs> Ew. Uh, Ew, dude, you're fucking Ew. nasty. There's a payoff at the end. Salt nut and cracker? <laughs> that just sounds like the worst diet of all time. I like a lot of salt on my crackers. Here's the, here's my next question. Nut? Would you rather let someone give you a blowjob with a mouthful of ghost pepper fire sauce or a mouthful of saltine crackers? God damn it, Patrick. Of course not the one that burns your dick and gets in your pee hole and right. it's sucks forever. <laughs> For I sure mean, not that one, Patrick. The mushy so hold on. Microscopic saltine crackers but, can go inside of your pee hole, too. And you can piss it oh. out. I'm less worried about that than the ghost pepper sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I think your penis would melt inside of someone's mouth if you stuck it in there. You would survive. Something bad would happen. You'd All survive right. both. I mean... One Carmen, just way less horrible, Patrick. Would you rather let um, a mouse trap clip your nipples or your penis? Nipples all the way. Sure, the you have to get both of them at the same time. <laughs> wait, wait, it's Patrick. All right, this is what you had all week to come time. up with. I mean, it's just. Stuff Would I you just rather of. rather eat a whole turd or have a delicious steak? <laughs> <laughs> turd sandwich. Yep. Twenty eighteen. With the turd, you can have two slices of bread. <laughs> Two okay, slices of bread. That sells it right there. I'm <laughs> taking the slice of the bread. Like Some that. fucking mayonnaise. So, <laughs> would you rather eat a whole eight pound chicken to yourself, or would you rather uh, lick a piece of schmagma off of a spoon? Explain. Schmagma is dick cheese. All right. Um. Yeah, a little teaspoon. But the chicken is, is raw. I'm going with the chicken. Raw chicken. <laughs> Raw, it's raw chicken it's now. Raw. Yeah, oh, man. Every single now it is. fucking time. It's would you have a great time or a bad time? <laughs> <laughs> Every All right, Pat. Single t- okay. And then it's you like, also oh, well, hold on. It can be an even worse time. <laughs> you only have. But wait, there's more. You only it have. It becomes even worse. You only have two minutes to eat the whole chicken. <laughs> I'm still taking the chicken. God if you it. don't, you die. <laughs> How are you killed, Patrick? If you just... It's like full the, of heroin needles. Like, how in the world <laughs> right. are you kidding it under these circumstances where you have to eat an eight-pound chicken under two minutes or fucking Some die. fucking maniac stops you in an alleyway and says, Eat this fucking chicken now, or, or I'm going to fucking kill you because I'm on meth. <laughs> I, would, you know? I would question all reality and let him kill me if that ever happened. You would really let Simulation's someone kill you? Over now. <laughs> yeah, Hold on. Just pull the plug, Morpheus. I'm ready to and get How do you know he's not going to kill you after you eat the whole fucking chicken? So, Carmen, would you rather... Yeah. What tells you that this meth head has integrity, Patrick? Well, hold on, listen. <laughs> we got to get Carmen's <laughs> answer. An do you think he'd have man? sex with your body after he killed you? Do you think he'd masturbate yes. to your dead body? <laughs> Hopefully. Do you think <laughs> that he would have uh, crackers in his mouth? And <laughs> yeah, so some man stops you in an alleyway, and he is a mouthful of saltine crackers. And, and a gun, hot sauce. And a gun. <laughs> A gun in one hand and a, a bottle of hot sauce in the other. 
<laughs> and he says, "You either you're gonna live or die here. Either you eat this whole eight pound chicken in two minutes, or you lick this whole teaspoon of schmagma now, and I'll let you live if you do it. If not, I'm gonna kill your ass and masturbate over your dead body. <laughs> stuff your like mouth full of saltine. Before, Patrick. Stuff your mouth full of saltine crackers. He saw Make you chew it. Flashback at this point. I'll stuff your asshole with saltine crackers. I'm still going with the chicken. I'll eat that fucker in two minutes. <laughs> because of course you are. Let me save this segment really quickly. All right, Carmen. Would you rather permanently in everything that you do, you talk like Scooby-Doo all day long? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I don't call even need the other option. Just give me that. I'll take it. Trying to figure out why your bank account's negative, but you're like, row, row, raggy. <laughs> row, no. I've got no money in the bank. Or however Scooby-Doo Row overdraft fees. <laughs> row, no. Rim, 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 rim. Yeah, exactly. So that's God. like all day long. That's how you talk. Or you have gigantic duck feet. And I mean, they're huge, <laughs> big old flipper duck feet. And you, gotta walk. you can't put shoes on them. There's no custom making duck feet shoes for giant duck feet. So, so how I, would you rather walk around? Giant human freak or fucking Scooby-Doo? Like, but people don't know what you... I mean, there's no visual element until you start talking to somebody. Your, your girlfriend... <laughs> Your girlfriend wants you to like talk dirty to her in bed, and you're just like, "Oh yeah, right. oh yeah, Whoa. you want to get reeky, you reeky with me?" <laughs> or you have Giant actual duck feet, duck feet yeah. and Huge every time he walks on like feet. he walks on hardwood floor, you hear that it slapping that <laughs> the whole way down. Can he swim? He can. He's a really great swimmer. Is That's he, the advantage of the duck feet. Can he float? What's the advantage of the Scooby Doo? Well, he does a really great impression. Work. Yeah, yeah. He, gets, he could he could voice the next Scooby Doo. Right? Yeah, That's, you're the next Scooby Doo. Until he's at a business meeting with these fucking people, and they're like, "All right, can you turn the voice off now?" We're actually, I can. We need your verbal consent. No, come on, sir. You gotta quit fucking with us. Can you sign this contract? No, I really like. He's all fucked up. So yeah, which one, Carmen? First. Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, and why? Can you give us your best Scooby Doo impersonation? Mine shit. So come on, give us a long sentence too. What What do you want to hear? I'll uh. To, it's old man Jenkins again. It's God the life damn it. you chose. I don't think Scooby has ever said "God damn it." <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I don't know. All right, fair what enough. The fuck would, why would you go Scooby Doo? I over think he'd the say Rod Ramit. Rod Ramit. I'd go Scooby Doo, but I mean that's just because. Say it in Scooby Doo voice. I can't say the whole thing in the Scooby Doo voice. Pat's moving his arm like, come on, come on, come on. work with me here. Acting. Improvise. Where are they anyway? <laughs> I can't. I'm I so love, bad at it. I love oh, you got it. You got it. Too. Thanks for trying. I'm just I committing. Thanks for trying. I sound like an old man. I don't sound like Scooby Doo. That was really bad. You know what our so listeners would really okay. love if we just all talked in Scooby Doo voice for the rest of the, the podcast. whole podcast. Every single one of us turn the podcast suicide. off. Yeah, yeah. I think I would quit. Yeah, Sean, what would you rather do? <laughs> Giant duck feet or Scooby Doo permanently? Come on, Sean, be with me. Probably the duck feet. God damn Why? it! Why? Why would you go duck feet? <laughs> you I'll also like lay eggs. Of opinion. I don't know, cause like legally speaking you could go and be like in the olympics and they don't have any rules what? against that you know and you'd be Damn, bringing home the gold hmm. getting all the duck bitches all the sean, duck the, bitches. sean the duck man more <laughs> right. won another gold today wait would they even allow you they have to. there's they not a rule against get it. some story where they like took away the gold medalist from the dude who had artificial legs because they, they like you couldn't get tired or whatever would they make him do the special olympics because isn't that technically a handy because you got a weird mutation but it's if it's an advantage weird mutation do you think that they would they would make their own like duck person olympics so that they could specifically would you rather well, then you would then have to open up like the uh, an olympics for the mute mutated yeah, and that's how the X-Men starts in real life. Hey, let me ask God, you, Luke. I hope that happens. Luke, would you rather be a human dolphin or a human whale? Human so dolphin? You be, what? So when I say this, I mean, you'll be dolphin-shaped, but with human features. Oh, God, that's terrifying. <laughs> Same with the whale. The whale also sounds terrifying, so dolphin. So picture a regular whale, uh, like I, a blue whale, okay. but with human flesh over it, and instead of big flippers, little <laughs> arms, normal size arms, yeah, and then the flippers in the back are just the feet. Yeah, I did that, <laughs> and it made me want to vomit, so that's why I said dolphin. <laughs> and then the same with the uh, dolphin, too. Yeah. So which one? Dolphin, for sure. Weirdo. 
Weird? Yeah. Are weird. you telling you go me whale? the whale is the logical conclusion <laughs> of that answer? Yeah, you have Where a... Where in the world are you going to be able to <laughs> just exist normally you without know, being around, murdered dude. or poked and prodded? <laughs> Blue whales aren't that big. You could like fit excuse on a me block. if I, there was a blue whale sized human being <laughs> across the street right now. I would what would lose you do? My fucking mind. What would you do? What would I do? I violently masturbate. I'd probably call some people. You'd poke it. You'd poke a, an innocent yeah, whale like, person. What the fuck are you? Like, are, like what if he told you to get on to live his speak. life? Like, does it? Yeah. Does it speak English, English or is it? He would you call the cops on like you. That. Call the cops he, on you! Like, quit poking me, man! The cops on me! His arm is forty-five <laughs> feet away from his fucking head. <laughs> Speakerphone. <laughs> Speakerphone. Yeah, he's got he's, ears. He's got a watch. Shouting. He's probably got ears slipper. next to his eyes. I don't know. He's got Google Glass. Oh my! <laughs> you God. think he looks like that? His and doesn't eyeballs get paid are probably for it. spread. He's also wearing a large polo and khaki shorts. <laughs> Yeah. His shirt's Why tucked not? in. Would you sure. smash? He's probably a nice businessman. All right, he's probably a financial advisor. And you're he's gonna fucking poke a him. Fucking monster that needs to be put in the ground. Wow, damn, dude, this is what you think about other people with races, like other races? Please, just because he's a me whale, the whale people that exist, Patrick. <laughs> I'm not saying that. We were just talking about him earlier, so like I'll see him at Walmart and shit for their mutated faces. <laughs> Yeah, I see a bunch of whale people at Walmart. Right. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> and they always have their whale tails out too, which is like a thong that hangs up oh a little bit higher God. on their wrist, on, on their hips, you know. You should just like snip it with scissors real quick. They won't feel it. So you would poke. So I don't understand why you would. So why aren't you poking other people? Why do you, Why do you have to poke this guy? <laughs> <laughs> why I'm you got to poke the whale man? Bud. He's just fucking trying to live his life. What if you were him? Very pokeable guy. Okay, so you're Dolphin Man because you chose that. What if someone was poking you? I totally understand because everyone in the world is a human being. <laughs> you're just and mining- I've transformed into this dolphin creature that shouldn't exist. <laughs> Is an abomination in nature. <laughs> you would chose probably it. drowned in water and is suffocating in air. Did you know that if uh, dolphins are out of the water for long enough, their skin starts to dry off and peel off their body horribly? That Does that happen to your so dolphin terrible. body? Dude, that sounds if fucked you're outside up. Of the water? No, he's regular human flesh. Because he's I just fa- shaped like a dolphin, like uh, Randy Marsh. <laughs> yeah, like from, from South Park. He, he wanted to be Dolphin Man or some shit, right? I don't know. I don't know what was going on with that. But yeah, you just look like a... I mean, you look like a freak, but you'd be a beautiful dolphin, man. No, I wouldn't be. I'd be a fucking monster to society. <laughs> what you would your job be? You'd be an X-Man. I wouldn't have one. I would be put down and experimented <laughs> on by the government. So why? <laughs> so they can make more dolphin people or figure out how to make sure they kill you yes. before you're born next time? They probably Dude, have they're like a- close to cloning people. Why aren't they making fucking animal people? I, I, you know what they do with you? They probably keep you alive and make like a makeshift like large water bowl for you to swim through. Like, dude, the, uh, it they have those. They're called swimming pools, Pat. T- y- you'd have to beg for fishes. Like, all right, that's Luki. the premise of Tusk. <laughs> the Kevin uh, Smith film. Okay, I don't know. That'd be fucked. Anybody have any more man demands? Do you guys have Pat, one that you can? I think got of? one for you. Let's I'd love it. to fucking hear right. one. So, would you rather change gender every time you sneeze? Mm. Or mistake babies for muffins. Like, what do you mean? Like, I'd eat them? Like, yeah, if you saw a like, baby. Like, oh shit, a muffin. Oh, no. Someone left this muffin around in this crib. Why won't this muffin stop crying? Yeah, not exactly. <laughs> <muffin>. <laughs> There's diarrhea all over this muffin. <laughs> it's leaking out of the bottom cup. But it's just it's so delicious. Gross. This muffin's so cute, it's high chair spilling <laughs> cake all over itself. It's just vomiting spaghetti. on me. These are new Tim's. <laughs> What the fuck, muffin? <laughs> these are my bedazzled Tim's. What was the first one again? I got these. Change on gender every time you sneeze. <laughs> Pat's scratching his beard on this one. No, that's a tough one, man. I, the muffin like, thing sounds hilarious. I don't know. Until you to eat a baby, and, I'm not gonna, <laughs> gonna you're in a jail, jail and explain in court that you mistook it for a blueberry muffin. <laughs> I think Real you would just know them. not to m- eat muffins at that point. I mean, yeah. I'll be honest. But then have, you, would, you think- would never have to deal with that issue. I, I don't. I wouldn't understand like why people would be carrying them around little. It would like, be so cribs. awesome. It would be awesome. 
Like imagine you in court being tried, or you and just eat all pictures, the babies. But it's <laughs> pictures of like a muffin, like like dead babies to the crowd. But to you, you just see like crumbs and an open muffin wrapper. Like I don't see the problem here. Like, yeah, what's the issue? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> it's fucking muffins. Why are you guys making a big deal out of it? I guess I choose the muffins. Is you go with the muffins? muffins. No, no, no. I've been fooled before. I'd choose the muffins. You would also mistake the vice versa. So you would think muffins are babies. Okay. And there's just stores selling babies. So wait, I wait. <laughs> How? Whoa! Would that, my mind just got blown. So wait, wouldn't you just know that that's the opposite thing? So you would just yes. Oh okay. wait, damn! I'd be the, really confused. You'd be extremely. Am I confused. born with this? Yeah, or yeah, you're born with it. Or was it a horrible accident? <laughs> what kind of for him to get this superpower? <laughs> he huffed Shit. too much gasoline. <laughs> I was in a horrible accident. I'm horribly confused, man. <laughs> and now I was it, trying to huff right. gas safely, and it damaged my brain somehow. <laughs> Whoops! I did everything right. <laughs> <laughs> I did the best with what I was provided. I bought premium only. I followed all of the restroom instructions. But, Is that uh, the last of the man of man's? So wait, so are you saying like if I have a baby? And it I comes out it. as a muffin. Would you eat it? Sean, did you... Uh, when you... Did you just change subjects without telling us what you would do? That would I don't be think No, I'm right. not. It's kind of like along the lines. You said you saw Jade being born, right? Yeah. And you said they took out all of her organs and not put it on her. all of them. Ugh. Like... So you're saying all that would happen, shit. but it would be a muffin that comes out of her? Yeah. And through a C-section? Can you imagine It's covered that? in blood. It's just... <laughs> Just an umbilical I was getting sick the there. other day with Sean telling me, can we close out the podcast with this, with what it sounds like yes. to watch a, a C-section birth? You were, I was going to throw up the other day, so can we close with this? <laughs> yes. I was going to throw up can the other day. Can you describe in graphic detail it. what it was like? Well, basically, they had up this like tarp <laughs> on her lap <laughs> so that she couldn't see what they were doing. And they drove the fuck up. But you saw a muffin. Yeah, I was, the curtain's there <laughs> for she your holding protection. Was she your hand? <laughs> Was she holding your hand? I was busy looking at the fucking <laughs> alien autopsy going on beneath the curtain. <laughs> but, uh, Jaw dropped and shit. <laughs> basically, they cut a incision in her, grabbed it with gloves on, and two people were just yanking at the hole, prying it as wide as they possibly could. And then they uh, basically just pulled out like some of her guts and just kind of like slopped how them much? onto her lap. Like, like how many? I don't know. Did you masturbate? About three. Yeah, dude, the whole time in front of everybody. <laughs> no, I didn't. That makes did you watch it intently the whole so time, though? Like, make tight, I dude. never stop watching it? Or did you have to, like, turn away to stop yourself Ugh. from getting violently ill? Or can you just watch I Star just, Free? I don't know. I wanted to watch it. It was interesting. <laughs> yeah, see, fuck yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. That would make me you could see like You could see, like, the fat and shit. Like, remember in school when they showed you what fat looked like? Does like, it look just was, like fat? It was like that, yeah. I remember being... I was in the hospital with Sean when, he, when they finally told her, because she had been in labor for, like, fucking two days or whatever it was, and they were like, we're gonna have to do it. Holy C-section. shit! She was having a panic attack, and I don't blame her after what you just fucking described. Like she did now not. Now she want wants have a one with the new one. But keep going though. So she they pull her guts out and slop them on the table. Yeah, it literally made it not the table. It was on her lap, but it uh, literally uh, made a sound. That's so disgusting. Ew! And, uh, made a sound. What was yeah, the sound? It made a, it sound like, <laughs> like for real. <laughs> they gross. just carved her. Yeah, and then they uh, kind of grabbed like the baby shit. sack and pull out the baby. Remove the sack from it. That's so fucked. Pull out the placenta Dude, and all that shit. I'm no offense, sure but I, I would not. I don't know. Is it bloody when they cut the umbilical cord? I've always wondered that. Is there like? It's a, not like bloody. It's like it's orangey. like period blood consistency. It's like a thick My mucusy God. blood. Oh, so man. you said that it can't be the same way with the new one, the new baby. Huh? What's going on with the new baby? She wants a C-section with the new one. She does? Yeah. As soon as she's dilated. All right, carve me up. It's time. Let's it's, go. It's nice to just be able to, like, pick out a date and be like, well, if it's not premature, like, how about this time? Yeah. You know what, Take boys, it out of me. So you're saying that when all this happened... It's happens, like a scheduled appointment, like getting a tattoo done. When you were watching... how we got it set up. Damn. So when you were watching all the guts come out and stuff, <laughs> was she awake? She was awake, but oh my she God. was loopy. She was, she was awake, like, and oh, all of her guts were coming in and were out of her. F- fucked up when they do that to you. That epidural. Ima- imagine yeah, being dude. fucked up and conscious, 
and people are pulling your guts out of your she stomach. She doesn't know. I didn't even. I didn't tell her what was going on behind the curtain. I'm just like. So to she this day, she couldn't. still doesn't know what what had happened. I don't know. I don't know if I told her. <laughs> Does she want to know? <laughs> I don't know? Tell her right as she's about to like go under. Be by like, the way. by the way, what they're about to do, and just kind of <laughs> walk her through it, and then. <laughs> what about you your like, hostile? <laughs> what about hostile? your? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Start telling her and wipe, wipe out your dick and start masturbating. <laughs> yeah, just in the hospital in the delivery room. Sorry, that's fucked up. But, uh, I think that's a, a wrap on the episode, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah, thanks for coming in, you guys. That was a great fucking episode. Um, anybody have anything they want to plug real fast? Anything you guys are selling? Anything Where can we got? follow you guys? Like on you social media. Followed? Social media? Yeah, you- Facebook, Carmen, Belperio. Follow How do you there. spell that? Uh... Don't just assume everybody knows how to spell Bell Pepper. Bell, Bell, I can't even say it. Bell, Bell Pepper. Bell, Bell, Bell Perio. Bell Perio. B E L P E R I O. Righteous. All right. Sean, do you want to be followed by anybody? Nah, I'm cool. I'm right on. Follow you. All right. Well, so, thanks for uh, sticking around, guys. It was a fun one. And uh, peace. 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 Thank you for listening to the Bastard Sermon today. Uh, if you liked us, check us out. <laughs> God, bad. Let's stay in. It. <laughs> Now we're going. If you like this, please fucking find us on Instagram at The Bastard Sermon. Please find us on iTunes at The Bastard Sermon and on Facebook at The Bastard Sermon. Leave us a review if you liked it. Leave us a review if you hated it. And please tell Pat that he's an idiot for fucking up the reads. All right, good night.